Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be going over the Fill and Sign tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's get into it. So I've selected this document to fill and sign. So, but before we get into this, let me show you what it looks like. So first we have to select our file. And then we have, we're confronted with this option. So we, who needs to fill and sign first? So me or others. So we're only going to focus on me for now because the others option automatically takes us into the Adobe Sign tool, which will be covered at a later date. So for now, we're just going to stick with me. And so at the top of this document, we have some options. So the first one is to add some text. So you just click and input your text. It's, it's pretty basic functionality here. So you can make your text bigger, make it smaller, trash it, and you have the option to convert it into any of the other, these other options that I'm going to cover in just a second. Additionally, you can do this funky little thing where it's like, you can make it look as the text, you can make it like a delimited kind of text field, you could say. So this is, it makes it look like a Scantron almost. So it has like very blocky spaces for your text, so. Just like that. And from there we can we can add an X, we can add a check, a circle, a line, or a dot. So that's pretty much how you'd expect it. Now note if you're dealing with um if your document has some pre existing fields such as, you know, check boxes or text fields, it will if you click the checkbox and you mouse over a text field or a checkbox field, it will automatically check in that box. But since we don't have these fields in this document, we don't have that option. So once we've placed these dots and text fields and X's to our heart's content, we can then sign. And so here, here's how the signature option works. So you can add your signature or initials. They both work pretty much the same way. So you have three options here. You can do a type signature. So that's literally just typing out your name like this, and it looks pretty good. And you can choose between several different styles, so a more non-cursive one or a cursive one like that. If you're feeling adventurous, you can draw out using your mouse. Beautiful. And lastly, my favorite option is you can you can make your signature out of a image. So say you write down your signature on a piece of paper, send it to yourself, and you get it back. And you can then uh, you can use Acrobat's functionality to fetch the ink from the signature itself and then you have the option to grab only the ink and then just input that ink as a signature. So it's attached to your mouse just like that, and then you click into it. And like with the text, you can make it larger, smaller, get rid of it. So that's how that works. And you can do a similar process for your initials as well. But once you signed, you can click next, and now you have a few more options. Well, first I gotta save it. <laughs> but now you have three more options. So the first option is to get a link. So it creates a link, and then whoever views the, this link into the document that you've signed in the document cloud, you can send a copy, a read-only copy of the signed document by email. So then the recipients can view the file, but they cannot modify it. And the third option is to request signatures to get others to sign your document, which integrates into the Adobe Sign tool, and so it'll be covered when we get into that tutorial. So, that's all there is to it, really, for the Fill and Sign tool. Thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in next time for one of the most powerful tools in Acrobat's arsenal, the Prepare Form tool. Till then, take care, everybody.